Hey guys, Rick from Rick Chat RC. Welcome to another episode of this Chuck Glider fiasco. <laughs> I have done everything possible, but I tell you what, all is not what it seems with this uh, little plane. It flew. I can show you some footage, but unfortunately, you're not going to see any more. It's uh, it doesn't fly the way it's supposed to. It's highly uncontrollable. And I think, as I said earlier in one of my other little uh, videos, I wouldn't recommend this as a trainer to anyone. There's my little baby. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad on the uh, the bench there, but I'll tell you now, it's, uh, it looks better on the ground, on the grass, in your hand, than it does in the air. Um, I'm going to show you what happened, and, and then I'm going to call it quits. Enough is enough. I'm just going to build myself another little something and uh, go from there. Well, stay tuned. Everything's about to be revealed shortly. Okay, guys, that was uh, another maiden attempt. Look, it did work pretty well. I'm not happy about the way the main wings flex. I think that affects flight stability terribly. Um, I'm not so sure these chuck gliders are made for RC conversion. It, just may, it may depend which one you get. Um, I mean, I'll just show you quickly. I've already strengthened the wings by applying some... Look at that. I glued some extra popsicle sticks in that area because those carbon rods were actually prying loose and so I did stiffen the wing but as you saw during the early part of that takeoff the wings were still flexing so I'm not convinced these chuck gliders are made for RC conversion might depend on the size uh, might depend on a few other things too. I'll show you a bit more closely the back section here. So that's where she broke. All right, and it's a bit unfortunate because I'm about to show you exactly where she broke in relation to that reinforced piece of dowling that I put there when I showed you last time. There it is. The dowling's in place and it snapped just past the end of that dowling piece. You can't win. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't win. If I had that dowel going right to the end, I could have saved myself, I reckon. But that is definitely fixable. With a bit of glue and some of that famous reinforcement that I've used for the front end, I will go home and I will fix that and I'll have one more try before I bin this. Back the other way again. I've just twisted myself up. Great, I'm twisted. Okay, so that is definitely fixable. I'm just wondering whether I should bother. I'm not happy with the flight characteristics of this plane. Now, I don't know if this is common amongst all chuck gliders. I've seen many other reviews where these things just take off and they seem to fly like a bird. I don't know, you know, maybe the smaller ones are better because there's not that much wing flex. The wingspan's not as wide or the foam's thicker. Or it's a different type of foam. I don't know. But I think this one is a little bit of a waste of time. I've strengthened the wings. Yeah, I'm happy with the authority. The aileron authority, the rudder and elevator authority is fantastic now. There's no complaints there. But uh, the wings definitely flex way beyond what I expected. And I think that's affecting the flight characteristics. And if I pull up elevator, you can see they just flex too much in a turn 
you know you've got to be really gentle with this so at the moment I would say the jury is still out as far as whether this is worth converting to an RC glider plane but uh, I wouldn't call this a trainer for anybody you'd be better off with a trainer rather than converting a cheap chuck glider that's been my experience so far but anyway I will go home and I'll fix this I will give it one more go because that's part of the journey guys and uh, I'll speak to you next time watch out for the next uh, installment bye for now okay guys this is the last time you're going to see this chuck glider I have done everything possible to it I've reinforced the back section I've reinforced the mid section I redid the front section does it fly yes it flies you will see it fly but unfortunately the wings just flex too much and as soon as they fold the way they do there's just uh, no no more control no? I had the aileron full left to full right to try and counteract what it was doing and it had no effect and that was despite having my increased aileron surface control that I ended up cutting out on this little plane so as a chuck glider I think it's probably not bad as a chuck glider but as an RC converted plane from a chuck glider I think it's an absolute piece of uh, rubbish I'm sorry to say it flies beautifully in a straight line you'll see some video of that shortly I strengthened a whole lot of areas um, it used to weigh 450 grams when I started now it weighs about 565 maybe 570 you know it's uh, it's gone up in weight I ended up using a three cell battery I've got that much extra power it literally flew out of my hands it was magnificent but the wings fold as soon as you apply any pitch pressure any roll pressure and when the wings start to fold or flex the way they do you just lose all manner of control so much so that this spiraled into the ground again um, <laughs> nothing broke I'm happy to report there is that much reinforcement everywhere on this plane nothing broke but I have to say only one other area came apart again and that was that part <laughs> so I'm not gonna do anything more with this I have done everything I can possibly do it's it's a waste of time I don't know other people have had more fun other people have had more luck with this type of thing converting chuck gliders to RC planes but from my perspective the FX 707 chuck glider which was originally a $20 item for me um, I'm afraid it's uh, it's a piece of rubbish <laughs> and that's where it's gonna go I'm actually gonna chuck this thing in the bin you will not see it any further I think I'll have better luck making my own instead of trying to convert something the smaller ones probably fly a little better there's not as much wing flex uh, I've seen quite a few of the others on the other channels they seem to fly successfully well this one doesn't and it's finally come to a close so I'm literally going to snap this in two, bend it in half, break it and put it in the bin. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now. Okay, I got a snap. Boom!